Welcome to this overview of Denoma Message Vault, the missing piece for policy-driven voicemail archiving. So voicemail has really become what we call the forgotten electronic record. Um, email and uh, Word and Word files, spreadsheets, PDFs, those have, have really become mainstream and understood that those are an electronic file, electronic record, and things that need to be archived and backed up based on different needs of different organizations. However, voicemail has really undergone some technological shifts over the past 10 years where it's no longer a separate system that was very difficult to access, very difficult to share. Voicemail really has become a mainstream part of an organization's communication stream, and as such, it has become an electronic record. Unified messaging has only accelerated that, which is, which is great for productivity. You think back 10 years ago, if you wanted to forward or share a voicemail, it was clumsy, it was difficult, it was, and you certainly couldn't do it outside your organization. If you needed to share that uh, voicemail with anybody who wasn't on your phone system, it was impossible and certainly not able to keep recordings. It was just very clumsy. But unified messaging takes your IP-based voicemail, moves it into your email, and it becomes yet another easy electronic record where you can communicate with colleagues, you can communicate with people outside your organization. That information can even be stored in various different you know, file folders, or you can keep a permanent record of somebody's voicemail giving instructions or maybe documenting an issue, and that way you have this very compelling uh, record. So it's very easy to share. This is great. Um, but what that has opened up is that there is a compliance and risk gap. This electronic record that's been so productive and so much easier for people to work with hasn't typically been um, able to be managed to the same degree of compliance that has been applied to documents and email. So right now, um, industry surveys show that most voicemail archiving, if it is happening, is manual, which really isn't archiving at that point. It's backup. So that's opening up a great deal of risk. You're having compliance issues. And more importantly is you just don't have this policy-driven standard being applied to a portion of your communication stream within your organization that is very active. And again, more data showing that voicemail just really continues to lag in electronic record compliance. So why is that important? It's important because failure to retain electronic records in any format has a price. And voicemail is absolutely a electronic record. In 2007, in the United States, the federal rules of civil procedure were amended that specifically designated voice recordings and voicemail as an electronic record that was subject to the same level of retention as would be any other document in the organization. And, and today, 75% of discovery orders include requests for electronic communications. And if it's a case that's going to go through a federal circuit, it's a requirement. So 100% of discovery orders are going to ask for those electronic communications. There's a broad spectrum of regulations that organizations, both in the United States and outside the United States, are subject to. And this is just a very small cross-section of some of the more popular ones that we run across. Um, but but the, the crux of, of this slide is really talking about more organizations are being subject to having to keep track of their electronic records, including their voicemail, than ever before, and that this is only continuing to escalate. We don't see that this is going to change, especially as attorneys have um, gotten up to speed on the fact that the voicemail records are there and that they should ask for them, and they are starting to um, become very savvy with that. Failure to retain has proven consequences. Not only can you lose certain legal rights and your 
advantage during litigation if you are not able to comply and provide, but if you're still not able to comply and provide, you run into issues such as obstruction of justice, contempt of court, which then turn into fines and penalties. And those penalties can be significant. Uh, this is some information about a study that was done in the first three years after those rules were changed and, and what kind of issues and penalties came out of that. And what we found was that there were um, a large number of cases where failure to preserve or failure to produce electronic records resulted in some significant penalties. Just putting a barrier at 100,000, there were 28 cases that, that just crossed the $100,000 mark. And this went on up until some of the top end ones were multi-million dollar um, settlement or uh, uh, penalties. I really don't like to call them awards. They're penalties for the failure to preserve or the failure to produce or the litigation was such that the outcome was based on the fact that that very important information was not provided. And up to this point, everybody's hands have been a little bit tied because there wasn't an easy solution. There weren't tools out there to help with that. Well, that has changed. And we at Denoma Software have got a couple of great solutions. Up to this point, we have had our unified messaging product. And if a client was running an email archiving solution in conjunction with that, they were able to archive an, a voicemail as, because the voicemail becomes an email record. They can apply their email archiving policies and then it gets archived. However, the end user could still potentially delete a voicemail, uh, you know, delete an email and, and you might lose it and it would not be archived. Whereas Message Vault is specifically designed for voicemail archiving. It's a standalone solution. It can work in conjunction with a unified messaging, but it really is designed to archive voice messages upon arrival and it will retain those according to policy regardless of the end user action. So if the end user were to delete a message immediately upon receiving it, there will still be a record of that message. In fact, the message will still exist, not just that it came in and have a date and time stamp and who it came from, but it will actually have a copy of that message. That reduces risk. It helps ensure regulatory compliance. But probably one of the most popular um, benefits that this brings isn't just um, providing protection, but also the ability to more effectively manage voicemail. And some of the IT administrators that we talk to throughout our product development were telling us that one of the one of the big challenges that they run into with voicemail is inevitably somebody comes to them and says, look, we've lost an important, you know, we've accidentally deleted an important voicemail record um, and it's not in the trash. You know, the trash was automatically emptied and we need to get that back. Being able to find that message is a challenge. They can go back to their backup and see if it's there, depending on, you know, a backup is a snapshot of your data at a point in time. If that voice message was there at that particular moment in the day when you did your, your backup, well, then you can take that backup, reload the entire backup for your entire phone system, and then go see if you can find it. That is time consuming, expensive, and often you may not, you still may not be guaranteed to find the record even after doing all that effort. Whereas with Message Vault, you're able to quickly filter and search, find the record, select it, and then you can restore it right back into the end user's phone system as needed. Or if it's a um, discovery request, then you can um, provide that out in a secure email to an appropriate contact. It's ideal for all employees with voicemail, and it is licensed per archived user. So Message Vault brings you some, some really tangible benefits. First of all, um, it helps you reduce your cost if you were to get pulled into any kind of compliance documentation or litigation, um, specifically litigation. It's expensive, and the e-discovery portion of litigation, on average, is about 
anything that you can do to make that process more efficient, faster, make sure that you're only releasing the information that is relevant instead of accidentally providing additional information, anything that you can do there reduces your risk, reduces your cost, and increases the likelihood of a successful legal outcome. Another great benefit is that there is no end user interaction necessary. There's no burden to them. This system runs in the background and it's there as a, as a life preserver to them in that situation that I just described. I've deleted something, it's gone, I need it back. Um, then the IT manager is able to very quickly restore that right back to them. It's easy to administer. And again, it ensures that compliance according to your existing company policies. So let's show you some of the, um, you know, what this, what our product looks like and how easy this can be for you. First and foremost, um, class of service is something that is built into the Cisco voice platform. It makes it very easy to establish your groupings of your employees and applying classes of services for retention. So you can retain for days, weeks, months, years, or forever. Next, we're gonna actually show you, once you've done a search, you're able to filter, you can see at the top here, you can search for messages around date ranges, you can actually search by accounts, you can search by tags. You see here that we've got a message with a little tag next to it. You can actually tag messages. So if you have um, managers or departments, say your HR or your legal, that are tagging messages as part of a project, a discovery project, they're actually able to tag messages and you can actually search off of tags. It's very easy to filter to find these messages and select which ones you want. And you basically add them to a shopping cart that you then can from there take whichever action you wish to do. Another great benefit is that we've established that you can have different levels of user. They can have different levels of access in what they can do. And again, all of this is trackable and auditable. So here we show that those, those records that maybe we selected from the previous screen, we decided which ones we wanted and those can then be restored back to the Unity Connection system. They can be exported to, securely exported to media, or they can be emailed securely to a designated contact. And again, all activity has a complete audit trail. So this way you can tell who's been doing what, when, what did they do. Nobody, not even your high level, highest level administrator can do something that isn't trackable and accountable. So in a nutshell, Message Vault is a, an on-prem server that connects to its secure database and an encrypted file system to make sure that all of your records stay secure. It connects to the Cisco Unity Connection voice platform. It supports Unity Connection 8.5.1 or higher. It is licensed by the archived user. It can run in a virtualized environment, and in fact, we recommend that. We've talked a little bit about the output options so it can be either be restored back to Unity Connection, it can go to media, or it can be provided securely by email. To request pricing, more information, or we can even do a more in-depth demo and discuss your specific questions and issues, I definitely encourage you to get in touch with us. You can reach out to us via phone, email, or on the web, and we look forward to speaking to you soon.